Yeah, man. So I just stumbled across what appears to be a breakdown of, you know, a little incident. Big U and Nipsey Hussle and his family didn't have uh, some time back, right? And it, you know, it was a little interesting. Plus, like I've been hearing about this situation, but I never really got no details on it or didn't know how true it was. But we're gonna get into this and and, and we're gonna check it out, man. And it's relevant because certain things that Lewis Kennan has been saying, and, and just certain things certain people have been saying, Black One Hundred as well. He one of the ones. Although this ain't, you know, we ain't. This ain't, you know, we not a part of the big U slander campaign. We just unbiased, so we hearing out both sides. But we are gonna get into it. The Nipsey Hustle Black Sam and Big U parking lot incident explained. Saw in another post, and there seems to be a lot of confusion about what actually happened and what caused the infamous parking lot incident between Nip, Black Sam, and Big U. Some people said it was because Nipsey fired Big U as his manager. False. Or it was because Nipsey dissed Big U in a song. False. Here's what happened. Nipsey and Black Sam were and still are prominent figures in the Crenshaw community. Although Black Sam never joined the Rolling Sixties, he was a highly respected individual in the area and one of the major plugs of many of the Sixties for various things before he fully focused on the store and running Nipsey's All Money In label as a creative director and co-founder. Many people don't know that Nipsey's daughter mother is actually Big U's niece. There was a point in time where Nipsey and his daughter's mother were bumping heads and allegedly she brought some people around his daughter or put her in an environment within the house he was very upset by. Drugs, alcohol, toxicity in general. From people I know who were and are very close to him and a family in 2011, Nipsey allegedly went over to his daughter's mother's residence by himself and badly beat up and pistol whipped an individual who was with his mother's son at the time for having his daughter in an unsafe slash inappropriate environment, sending him to the hospital. I cannot confirm this, but allegedly his aggression had caused some sort of bodily harm to his daughter's mother as well. Big U got word of this and pulled up to the store while Nipsey was there and pressed him about it. Nipsey said some things that Big U didn't like and they fought in the alley near the store. Allegedly, Big U beat up Nipsey pretty bad and more than enough. He also threatened Black Sam who went in the store and retrieved a pistol and shot one time in the air to get Big U off his brother. LAPD arrived within one minute of Sam's warning shot and arrived seeing some of the scuffle and Black Sam holding his pistol. LAPD immediately opened fire on Black Sam from about 30 yards away. Somehow not one bullet hit Sam and they were all ordered on the ground roughed up and handcuffed while the chopper hovered over the store and taken to jail that night. They would all bail out the next morning. Nipsey and Big U settled their differences just a few weeks after the incident and got back close around 2016 and were on good terms when he passed. Big U was even his road manager on his promo tour for the Victory Lap promo during the release. Yeah, man, so I heard that story, and it's a crazy thing to, like, get some insight about what really happened that night, allegedly, because this is just a Reddit post, and so we don't know how true it is, but, yeah, man, it's, it's crazy because it kind of, like, adds some validity to some of the statements Loose Cannon was making and some of the theories that people be having, man, and this ain't no disrespect, and we ain't trying to go down the conspiracy road, but it's like, you know, this is the shit that happened, and we just shit, we just covering this shit, man, and reacting to it. It's crazy, man. Long live Nip. I'm gonna have some of the comments, man, up there so y'all can check out some of the comments. People is doing they want to, you know, doing they due diligence and trying to, like, get to the bottom of shit. It's, it's a little tricky, man. It definitely is, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Um... And it's crazy because I did hear that Nipsey fired Big U as his manager. But as you can see, he was his road manager for the victory lap. And that's the last that's the last memory I have, man, of them being cool and it being cool, man. But like I was saying, it do kind of make like what Loose Cannon was saying stand out a little bit more as far as like him. Big U may have known about the aggression Eric Holder might have had for Nipsey and big you not stopping it as a big you know the politics do play a part in that as well it's like you know you're the big homie but ain't nobody bigger than the program you feel me so it's like he he could have you know tried to tell eric like nigga fall back with that shit whoa, whoa. but what he gonna do like you know what i'm saying and a stepper gonna step when he feel like it's time you know what i'm saying and but at the very least though he definitely could have warned him you know what i'm saying 
if if this is all speculation, if what Luce was saying is true. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Hey, and once again, this ain't no disrespect to Big U for sure. This just some internet shit. And the motherfuckers is reacting to it. And I know it's it's crazy, bro. It's, I know, you feel me? I can only imagine how a nigga would feel if all this speculation is going on surrounding his name. And it ain't no solid proof or facts. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think.